So there's quite an interesting story about this iOS 8.0.1 update that came out for a while earlier today that I think you guys are entitled to hear. So I wanna talk all about this update right now in this video. So jumping right into it, Apple did in fact, you might've heard something about this, they did release iOS 8.0.1 earlier today for about an hour and a half until they pulled it. Now, the reason that they pulled it is because iOS 6 and 6 Plus users were experiencing more bugs and issues after updating to this bug fix and issue improving update. Number one, they could not connect to a cellular network. It would just say searching or maybe even no service at the very top left corner of the device. And number two, Touch ID became completely inoperable. Literally, if you were on the lock screen, I saw a video and you tried to use Touch ID, it just didn't work. Almost like you didn't even have a Touch ID sensor on your device, which leads me to ask, like I'm sure many of you are wondering, why would Apple release something that doesn't work on the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus? This absolutely baffles me. What are you doing, Apple? You're telling me that you did not test this on a cellular-enabled iPhone 6 or 6 Plus? I mean, everyone has Touch ID. You're telling me you tested this and it worked for you but not the rest of the world? I don't know what's going on with Apple lately, but they seem to be having some issues in the software department. iOS 8's been pretty glitchy after being in beta testing since June 2nd, and iOS 8.1 was a bug fix update that included more bugs literally seconds after updating. So I just felt like you guys needed to know what was going on. I am still totally perplexed why they released something that didn't work. I mean, I know you guys are going to say, well, it might only happen for some people. If you are a corporation like Apple, you cannot release a software update that disables the phone part of the iPhone. You that's like a rule. You can't do that. Anyway, guys, that was just a little rant I had about iOS 8.0.1. However, I was lucky enough to actually grab a screenshot of what bug fixes and performance improvements this update included. So we almost have kind of like a pre-release look at what iOS 8.1, 8.0.1 will include. So jumping right into that, here is the complete change log that Apple has given us for iOS 8.0.1. This release contains improvements and bug fixes, including fixes a bug so HealthKit apps can now be made available on the App Store, addresses an issue where third-party keyboards could become diselected when a user enters their passcode, fixes an issue that prevented some apps from accessing photos from the photo library, improves the reliability of the reachability feature on iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, fixes an issue that could cause unexpected cellular data uses when receiving SMS slash MMS messages, better support to ask to buy for family sharing for in-app purchases, fixes an issue where ringtones were sometimes not restored from iCloud backups, and finally fixes a bug that prevented uploading photos and videos from Safari. At the very bottom, like always, we have a security link just telling you what security features are added in this update. And that's just about everything we know relating to iOS 8.0.1. Apple has said they are actively investigating the issue and have pulled the 8.0.1 update in the meantime. And right now, we currently don't know when the update will be available yet again over the air or via iTunes. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like down below. And of course, subscribe because I do cover each and every single iOS update that Apple pushes out. This was Sam with iUpdateOS, and I will catch you guys in the next video.